everybody and welcome to the Israel Brief. I'm Rolene Marks and just a reminder that the Israel Brief is proudly brought to you by Lay of the Land and you can follow us at www.layoftheland.online that's www.layoftheland.online and don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and if you want your daily Israel Brief you can click on the subscribe button below or click on the little bell icon and you will be notified every time your news comes to you. So speaking of news, let's get on with it. Uh, the top story today is that a 16 year old Israeli boy has been charged with manslaughter for the killing of a Palestinian woman by throwing stones at her. Uh, the boy is a minor and will not be charged with uh, terror laws, but uh, in Israel any kind of acts of terror, whether it's propagated against Arabs or Jews, is uh, equally punishable by the law. And uh, the young boy said that he was motivated by racism and hostility towards the uh, Arab population. The other big story making news today is that after Syria threatened to uh, fire um, reprisal rockets on Ben Gurion Airport, Israel is rolling out further iron domes across the area to protect our airport. Uh, we are anticipating now with Iran gaining a stronger foothold in Syria, we are um, anticipating perhaps a, a conflagration taking place. And our last story today comes from Germany and um, members of the AFD party, the far right party in, in Germany, walked out of a speech by the head of the, uh, the former head of the German Jewish community and Holocaust survivor uh, Charlotte um, uh, Knobloch because she says that they have not done enough to take proper accountability for Nazi crimes. So they got up and walked out, which is a reminder of anti-Semitism rising from the far right in Germany today. Uh, anti-Semitism today is rising around the world, both from the far left and the far right, and it is becoming incumbent on us every day to try and fight it. So I'm Rolene Mox. I'm in uh, Jerusalem. A lot is happening around me, as you can see. And I want to take this opportunity as we conclude our WITSO conference to wish you all Shabbat Shalom.